Well, here I am at McGill Estate in our cellar door, only a short period of time away from the release of our flagship wines. And in this 2014 release, we have a wonderful array that includes a new wine for your market, our Bin 169. But let's start down here, St. Honore, and it's appropriate that we do because this wine was originally created at the Aldana Winery down the road from here by a gentleman called Edmund Mazur. A contemporary of Max Schubert, John Davrin, re-established the style in the early 1950s, and we've never stopped making it since to the original stylistic template of St. Henri. Old Foudre, old vat matured, it really does sing when it comes to the enhancement of Shiraz fruits, spices. It's a style preferred by many to some of these other wines, Grange included but we'll let you be the judge. RWT, well, what can we say? The first vintage, 1997, French oak matured Barossa Valley fruits. It really protects Grange in that if there was to be any criticism of Grange, it's usually multi-regional American oak matured. Well, sorry, RWT, French oak only, Barossa Valley only. So a lovely guardian to the style of Grange. Talking about Guardians, in this release there will be no 2011 707. Unless it's at that level or above, the wine's simply not released. So the smart money actually this year is buying 389 and 407, but I won't go there. But bin 169, 100% Cabernet, 100% from Coonawarra. It was a wine that James Halliday only recently awarded as the best Cabernet in Australia for this very vintage, the 2010. Keep an eye on it, we don't make much of it. In fact, we make only a fraction of this than we do of Grange even. So it's quite rare and I'm thrilled, I'm delighted that it is entering your market. 08 was the first vintage, this is the 2010. Well, Grange usually steals the show and always does and always should. The 2009 vintage, how will it rate? Well, only time will tell, but I remind people about the 1999 Grange, one of my favorites. It was missed because people had spent all their money on 90, 91, 96, 98, some of the best Granges ever made. The 2009 is perched between the 08, and we know the awards that it's won and the points it's obtained from many journalists around the world. But this one will be followed by 2010, a wine people are already queuing up for. But I think again, I used the term earlier, the smart money will look at a great vintage of Grange 2009 Smart people won't get caught up in the hype. They'll be looking very closely at that. So look, please join us in our excitement of this release. A very perfect release in the sense that anything that didn't quite contend is not included. It will be on your shores fairly quickly. We just have to get a little thing called harvest and vintage out of the road and I'll be over to join you to pour some of these wines. Thank you very much.